Hi everyone, uh, this is Raj Hantal from uh, Venice Hybrid Tech. As you know, we've been making a uh, lot of uh, products for uh, uh, hybrid uh, vehicle owners to help them maintain their batteries and uh, recondition and uh, rebuild the hybrid batteries. Today, <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to cover one of our products, that's uh, the grid charger. The grid charger is a very uh, common uh, item. Uh, it has been around for last uh, about 15 years now. And it is a very useful item for all the hybrid owners. We reckon that every hybrid car owner should have a grid charger because it not only helps you get over some of the problems like when you go away on vacation and you are your vehicle is standing for uh, maybe two weeks or one month and then when you come back it doesn't start but if you had a great charger you'll be able to uh, either time it uh, put it on a timer and it will keep the battery maintained or when you come back connect it and uh, in about three four hours your battery will be charged and balanced and you'll be ready to go um, in addition to that if you use a great charger periodically even if you don't have any problem, it will help you to uh, prolong the life of your hybrid battery as well as keep it in good condition. Uh, as a result, your car will perform better and you'll get better mileage. Most of the people, they start looking for anything uh, to take care of their hybrid battery after the battery lights, uh, when the lights lit up on the la uh, dashboard. But in our view, I think that's not a good time. The time is to take care of the battery before it dies or before it has any problems or the troubles or trouble codes. So anyway, uh, in this video, I'm going to introduce one of the uh, grid chargers that we have been selling for the last 10, 12 years. It's very popular and uh, I also uh, sell it on my website as well as on eBay sometimes. Uh, with that, let's go over to the charger because I would like to cover most of the stuff in this video instead of people asking me a lot of questions on the phone and uh, taking up my time. So, here's the grid charger. Uh, as you can see, it has a voltmeter window on top uh, and it has a two pin connector and a fuse in front. The two pin connector is where you will connect the wire harness and that wire harness will go from the charger to the hybrid battery pack. And then on the side, I have a, a nine volt battery clip where you will connect the nine volt battery to power the meter. The, the purpose of this battery is very, very limited. It's only to see initially what the voltage is and then when you start charging it, you can remove it and when you come back after a few hours, connect it again and see what the voltage is now. And you'll see the voltage has gone up. And then in, ad in addition to that, I have a, a switch here with the on and off position and it's a lighter switch. That means once the power is connected, the light comes on. And if you turn it to number one position, it comes on and zero is off. At the moment, it is off. So, my request to everybody is that when you order a grid charger from us, we are shipping it via the Priority mail, USPS, priority mail. But sometimes uh, the way they handle the packages is, is really not good. And sometimes the charger gets damaged. I take all precautions to make sure it doesn't, nothing uh, moves inside the box. But still, those guys are so good, good at breaking things that sometimes it gets dam damaged. So what you do is, when you get the charger, Connect the 9 volt battery, connect the AC power, and turn the switch on, 
and you should see 284 or 285 volts in the voltmeter window. Now this voltage can vary depending upon what charger you order because we in Venice Hybrid Tech we have a range of chargers for all the vehicles uh, depending upon what model you have. We have vehicles uh, charger for every vehicle and it has a different voltage. That's how we try to control the uh, charging of the vehicle is by giving you the right output so that it doesn't damage the vehicle. So in this video, I'm basically talking about a grid charger for Toyota Prius Generation 2. That's the one I showed you that goes up to 284, 285 volts. Uh, but when you order a charger, I always send you instructions with the, what the voltage that should be coming out in the voltmeter window and uh, how to use the charger along with the vehicle. So as I was saying, that the wire harness has a male two-pin connector and on the other end are the two ring terminals, black and red, which will be connected to the hybrid battery. And as you know, we send you instructions as well as I have posted all the instructions on my website www.venishybridtech.com I have instruction for every vehicle. You can go there and look up the instruction for the vehicle. But I also send via email to you on the instruction with the pictures how to connect the terminals, where to connect them, and then how to charge the battery. But in this video, I generally shortly cover that mostly for Toyota Prius, it goes up to 235 to 40 volts. Even sometimes 228, 230 is also a good voltage. So you connect the charger and turn it on. And after that, you can remove the 9 volt battery. And then it takes a three to four, sometimes even five hours, depending upon your battery condition, for the battery to be fully charged. And uh, when you see that the voltage is static, it's not moving, for about 5 to 10 minutes, then that means the battery is already charged now, it's not going to go up anymore. You can turn the charger out. Please don't leave it on the whole night. Uh, it can cause uh, some uh, battery to be heated up, especially because some of the modules, when they are not good, they tend to heat up more. So just uh, charge it enough and turn it out. When you receive the charger, you have one year warranty from me for anything that goes wrong with it. So if you get a charger by chance when you receive it and you see it's not working, please call me. I will immediately ask you to return it to me. I will repair it and send it back to you without any questions asked. Uh, but lately I have made some very, very good connections and I'm not getting any more reports I put this zip tie at the bottom and uh, tie the parts of the uh, charger to the box so that they don't move and uh, don't cause any damage. I also send you a spare fuse. This fuse is basically for the safety of the charger uh, and, the, and the parts inside. The only reason this fuse will blow is if you make a wrong connection. Instead of negative, you put a positive. Instead of positive, you put negative. You'll blow the fuse. So please be very careful before making connections. If you are in any doubt, use a voltmeter or a multimeter and check the voltage and the polarity before making a connection. Now, some people try to act extra smart. If you notice on my uh, charger, I have you see in the window it shows DC and under the DC there's a sign like an underscore. 
Now some people think that this is a negative sign and as a result they try to reverse the polarity to remove the negative sign. For heaven's sake, it's not a negative sign, it's an underscore for the DC voltage. So when I say connect the, neg the black to the negative and the red to the positive, please don't change it, go ahead and do it. And you'll see it, everything will work fine. And um, so uh, that's all I wanted to uh, introduce in this video. If you have any questions or queries, even after all that I've said, please let me know and I'll try to answer those questions. And thanks for watching.